So let's go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, three, five, and six, seven, eight, one, hold two, three, four, five, and six, start over again. Thank you very much. They think it's be cool. Pros do sugar pushes all the time. They just feel cooler than y'all, right? So sugar pushes aren't just a throwaway pattern. They should feel good. They should be cool. You should do a bunch of different variations of them. That left us finishing on a five and six. We got a three beat hit for seven, eight, one. We're doing a three beat hit using a cutoff. A normal cutoff would just be walk, walk, triple step to an anchor triple step. But we gave you ladies a variation that you can play with by under rotating that. So this went seven, eight, one, and two. And then you may have started your anchor facing that direction, then rotated it into a natural anchor ending over there at the end of that, right? As you guys did that, that happened to be a three and four. Three and four, I had you set yourself up to that side of the lane because I wanted you to take her by your left side. So instead of just staying here and struggling to get her by your left side, I had you guys do a little bit of a workaround of your own, take that heel lead and move just outside of the lady and twist, take your left shoulder back and bring her with you for five, six, give that up at a 90 degree angle. She's ready to spin, pick that up, seven and eight to an anchor on the one and two. That is a one, we get you to do a single step anchor there if we wanted to, because it's a one depending on whether there were multiple syllables there, multiple instruments, or single sounds that I wanted to hit by doing a single step anchor, that would obviously break. When we finished that, we ended up finishing that on a one and two. So starting on a three, if I do any whip pattern, starting on a three, except for a double outside whip, I can hit a break using that, right? So starting on a three, I'm gonna go three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, hit the one, if I wanna do that. Now, we could triple that. Not everyone is a break. So three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two. That finishes uh, on a two. If we do a sugar push here, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, we start on a one again, and we're ready to do our sequence all over again, right? Ladies, for you, when you did this press, when you went over here, seven, eight, really strong into that leg, you guys were already making contact with the ribs, so she knew she was gonna stop, and you're already making a little bit of wool horsey feeling above her. Don't have that directly in front of her freight face. This is the audit and audience moment, so that's why I like to keep that a little bit higher. So she got right here, and I keep that pressure there, keep that pressure there. You ladies under rotated on purpose. They already kind of made your legs softer on this side anyways. Your knee moved toward the standing leg. And then from here, you ladies did an anchor back. Bring your legs together, did an anchor back, twist both feet and deliberately step back and close your anchor, uh, your ankles at the end of that. And then you ladies are ready for this spin for five, six, spinning quickly seven and eight to an anchor one and two. When you do this outside whip, Three, four, do a switch with your hips. Pick that up, this is a slow, slow in the middle. Take a single step anchor at the end of that, e base in any direction you want, or you could do that also with the triple. So three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, and you're ready to go into the next pattern. I'll dance that right So intermediate class, I don't know what the date is, 18, 18, 18. So here's what we ended up doing. We did the shoe push one, two, three, and four, Five and six to a cutoff. Seven, eight, one and two, three and four to a spin side pass. Five, six, seven and eight, one and two to an outside loop with a single exit. And four, and she goes around as a single exit, which we didn't get to that pattern, but I'm going to add it on your video anyway. From the other side, kind of straight eggs again. This goes one, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, one and two, three and Four, five, six, seven, and eight. One and two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, or one and two. However you want to do that, right? So as we do this, so here's what we ended up doing. We did the sugar push. One, two, three, and four, five, and six to a cutoff. Seven, eight, one, and two, three, and four to a spin side pass. Five, six, seven, and eight. One and two to an outside loop with a single exit. And four, and she goes around as a single exit, which we didn't get to that pattern, but I'm gonna add it on your video anyway. From the other side, count straight eights again. This goes one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven.
6, 7, and 8. 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, 1, 4, 1 and 2. However you want to do that, right? So as we do this sugar push, sugar pushes can be cool. Pros do sugar pushes all the time. They just do them cooler than y'all, right? So sugar pushes aren't just a throwaway pattern. They should feel good. They should be cool. You should do a bunch of different variations of them. That clip just finishing on a 5 and a 6. We've got a 3 beat hit for 7, 8, 1. We're doing a 3 beat hit using a cutoff. A normal cutoff would just be walk, walk, triple step to an angry triple step. But we gave you latest variation you can play with by under rotating that. So this went 7, 8, 1, and 2. And then you ladies started your anchor facing that direction and then rotated it into the natural anchor ending over there at the end of that, right? As you guys did that, that happened to be a 3 and 4. 3 and 4, I had you set yourself up to that side of the lady because I wanted you to take her by your left side. So instead of just staying here and struggling to get her by your left side, I had you guys do a little bit of a workaround of your own, take that heel lead just outside of the lady and twist, take their left shoulder back and bring her with you for five, six, give her that prep at a 90 degree angle. She's ready to spin, pick it up, seven and eight, to an anchor on the one and two. That is a one, we get you to do a single step anchor there. If we wanted to, because it's a one, depending on whether there were multiple syllables there, multiple instruments, or single sounds that I wanted to hit by doing a single step anchor, or obviously a break. When we finish that, we ended up finishing that on a one and two. So starting on a three, if I do any whip pattern, starting on a three, except for a double outside whip, I can hit a break using that, right? So starting on a three, I'm gonna go three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and the one, if I wanna do that. Now we could triple that. Not every one is a break. So three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two. That finishes up on a two. If we do a shoot push here, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, we start on one again, and we're ready to do our sequence all over again, right? So what you're doing is you're powering up and then powering down. So you go five, six, six, and then power down and have finesse at the end that everybody goes, oh, damn, that's impressive because you got speed and finesse. Does that make sense? Rotate that foot, push back diagonal, drag some sand. And this is three and four in the pattern. So do that. You go put your weight on your right. And you go three and four. Do it again. Here we go. And three and four. So leave your left foot turned out. Drag a little bit of sand. When you take that back for five, your legs should touch. Right now my knees are touching. Just barely, but they're touching. And then as you step on your and, leave that left knee in a little bit. Both knees twist. Push off your right foot to get over there. Now drags the same. And now you're ready to walk out for your spin. Walk, walk. Does that make sense? Yes. Five, make your legs come together. Do that again. Leave your left foot turned out. Don't let it turn in. Five, replace on and both legs twist, push back. Six, drags the same. Yes, I'm going.